We're here at Alma College, it's the D3, uh, Division III, uh, third round playoff game, uh, Corbin versus Alma. We're here with uh, Corbin players uh, Zach Boys, Nick Lardero, Kurt Fitzpatrick, and JJ Lamp. Uh, Coach, do you have an opening statement to make, or shall we start with questions? Um, yeah, I'll make a quick quick statement. Um, outstanding game uh, all, all the way around. Great atmosphere for college football. Um, two really good teams. Very proud of our team and um, the way that we battle through adversity. Uh, we talk about next play mentality and just keep playing the next play and uh, play for 60 minutes and then we'll see what the score is at the end. And I thought we did a really good job of that today. Um, Elma's a great team. They have a tremendous offense. Um, and I thought, you know, there was some adversity in the game, but we just kept we just kept playing and uh, got to halftime tied, basically zero-zero game, as we said, as, as we were we were saying. And um, all we had to do was win the second half. First half was over, and uh, I'm proud of the resiliency of our of our team, our players, great leadership on our team. To um, you know, especially defensively, um, not let the first half get you down and just go play. And uh, I think we held them to seven points in the second half and forced a few turnovers. Uh, so just just proud of our proud of our team. Um, great, you know, hats off to, to Coach Couch and, and, and Alma. Um, tremendous team. This probably won't be their last time back here in the, on this stage. Um, so happy we could get a win today. Talk about your offense. Uh, obviously, you put up 58 points against a team that's excelled at taking the ball away from other teams. Yeah, that didn't happen today. Kind of reverse that role. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I thought we had a good game plan and, and uh, had a great week of practice. You know, our we've been good on offense all year. Um, we don't play a super up tempo style, uh, so you know, I, I just felt like we we could control the game. Um, we watched the film from last week. You know, Mount left a lot on the table. We we thought, especially in the passing game, um, and we we knew we had to try to control the game and finish drives because of how explosive. Alma's offense was. Um, I thought offensively, you know, with guys like Zach and JJ, and Cole Burgess, Jaden Alfano, St. John, and others, Joe Idevio had a great game. We just stayed steady. Um, we let the defense tell us where the where where to throw the ball. Um, when they played cover two, we tried to run it. When they played cover three, we tried to throw it opposite of the rotation of the coverage. Um, that was our plan, and these guys executed it uh, tremendously. Um, and, uh, and I thought I was just happy that we played four quarters and uh, made some plays in the fourth quarter when uh, we knew they were going to make a run and, uh, and we, made, we made some plays to win the game. It's a question for, uh, for Nick and for the coach. Uh, yesterday at the pregame press conference, we talked about the value of limiting the long ball against uh, an team that likes to, to go up and down the field. Uh, was this something that, uh, that, that you felt like you were able to do successfully uh, from the defensive line uh, on back? And, uh, and if so, how? Oh uh, yeah, that was the point all week. You know, limit the long ball because they do that very well. They make you know drives last less than a minute. So that was the point of emphasis. And you know, we were definitely slow in the first half, but you know, at halftime we had great adjustments and whatnot. And we definitely stopped in the second half and you know had a much better performance. Yeah, definitely. You know, we got. It's hard to simulate that tempo. Uh, it's hard to simulate the speed of, of number eight, um, Frenchko. Uh, and we gave a big one early to him. We gave a, a, a long one right before the half. Um, but we just need, needed to settle in and adjust. We're very young in the secondary. We've dealt with a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries. We have freshmen playing out there that, um, if you asked me in August, I would have never thought they'd be out here at this, at this point in the year. But here they are. And uh, it wasn't perfect, but you know, you only got to win by one. And so I, you know, defensively, I thought it, it would have been easy for us to sulk because we were giving up some big plays. Instead, we had a resiliency and a, and a next play mentality to just, okay, they scored 34 points in the first half. That doesn't mean they have to score 34 in the second half. Let's just regroup, make some adjustments, and and, and just, just play the best we can. Um, so, you know, proud, proud of that effort. Obviously, they, they're going to tell you they want to play better, um, and they should. That's what, that's what that's what we want them to, t to think. They want to play. They want to play better next week. Um, but to get the next week, you, you got to rally and try to try to win the game you're playing right now. And, and uh, we're fortunate to do that and move on. That fourth and five play where you went deep. 
that was a kind of a turning point in the game. I mean, it was back and forth and back and forth. Your thoughts on that play, was that a turning point or is that? Yeah, uh, definitely a turning point. Um, I'll let Zach talk, talk, talk on it. He made a great read, a great throw. Um, we like to go for it on fourth down. Um, the 50 yard line, you know, in that type of game, playing against that offense, you know, we, we had to keep the ball and try and score. Punting was going to lose. Punting is losing. Punting is losing in a game like this. So, um, as opposed to Iowa, punting is winning. Punting is losing when you're playing when you're playing a game like a game a, a game like this. Um, so, yeah, I'll let Zach take you through the read and the throw. Yeah, uh, they just kind of they came out and they were one high one high shell. They looked like they were bringing some pressure. Um, we just full started on a fourth and one. Um, so I just kind of, we, call, we called one of our man beaters and a cover three beater. Um, and I really was just reading the corner. Um, we kind of ran like a smash concept over there to Cole, who was one of our fastest receivers. Um, and right when I saw the, the corner uh, hook onto the hitch, I was like, whoa, that was a mistake. Um, so he was streaking wide open. I didn't want to, you know, throw a teardrop or anything. I just kind of wanted to put it on him and, and I knew he was going to be wide open. Um, so I think, I don't know if it was a busting coverage, uh, but they definitely weren't on the same page, the dude over Cole in the corner. Um, but yeah, it was a huge, huge moment in the game for us, you know, especially on fourth and five, kind of takes the wins out of their sales, right? So it was, it was a great play call and great job by Cole by getting open. Well, this is a question for, uh, for Zach and for JJ. Can you uh, elaborate on your coach's comments from earlier? If I recall correctly, uh, uh, Alma's defense just excels in takeaways, and uh, it doesn't look like uh, the, the, the offense turned the ball over at all. Um, what? How, how was that possible? Um, honestly, the last three weeks I've been kind of disappointed with how I've taken care of the football. Um, I was very very happy with how I uh, made good decisions in the first nine games, and then the last last three games I just made some really boneheaded plays and tried to do a little bit too much. Um, and when you watch these guys on film, that's what they, they kind of they thrive off those turnovers, and that's what they need to kind of get momentum going. Um, and so that was just a big point of emphasis for me and from Coach all week was just to, you know, don't do too much. Just take what they give you and, you know, don't try to force things. Um, and I didn't do a good job of that the last the last two weeks, but, uh, you know, that was really something. The, the ball is a program, so you got to protect the program, right? So we can't score if we don't have the ball. Um, and I just didn't want to give them any momentum because um, they were humming on offense. So... Um, just kind of going through the reads, making sure I'm making the right plays was was huge huge this week. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, just to uh, piggyback off of what Zach said, uh, every week a uh, point of emphasis to take control of the ball and not be uh, just yeah, control the ball well. Coach Fitz made it a point of emphasis for the team that we got to win the turnover margin this game. That would be huge for us. And that, yeah, basically that's it. I'll add to that too, because you, know, you, you use two different two different terms. To there's a, there's a turnover and a takeaway. Um, both are statistically the same, but a turnover is something the offense commits an error, and a takeaway is when the defense forces the ball into their hands. And if they were going to have takeaways, you know they're a good team. You know that takeaways are going to happen. We couldn't do we couldn't commit turnovers where we would just you know miss an open receiver and throw the ball straight to a defensive back or use bad ball security. If they were going to take it away, we needed them to come get it from us. We're not going to give it to you um, because they feed their offense feeds off that and the momentum and they get the crowd into it. So that was huge. And we executed like these guys, I could tell, you know, JJ would catch a ball and he'd get near the sticks and his ball security, he'd go two hands on the ball. Like they were, they're very coachable in that. They knew that, that we had to protect, we had to protect the ball because it wasn't about beating their defense, it was about not giving their offense the fuel to get back out there and, and, and create momentum. They're a big momentum team, I felt like, coming into the game. We needed to try to min minimize that as much as possible. So when you see the other quarterback go down and limping around, does that change with you defensively, or do your defensive linemen smell blood in the water and go, we got him? I'll let you get to that one. <laughs> I mean, um, Ford was a great quarterback, and their backup quarterback did a great job when he stepped in. Um, Nothing really changed from the game plan. Like we knew we, we had to dominate up front, and that didn't change because five was in instead of four. Um, you know the game plan remained the same, and um, it didn't matter who you threw at quarterback. We just wanted to get him, you know, and try and get some sacks. Pressure. Correct me if I'm wrong, coach, but it's uh, more wins in a season than any other in Cortland's history for this advanced 
that uh, the Dominus, or that, uh, excuse me, Cortland's uh, advanced in the tournament in its history? What does it mean uh, to you and, and the players who are alongside you? I'm very, very happy for these players and this team and our coaches, um, our administration, our alumni. Yeah, this is the most wins in Cortland football history in, in, in a single season. Um, the quarterfinals was the was the furthest that any Cortland team had ever reached, and now we're in the semi. So um, they were excited in the huddle after the game because uh, you know this this is the best Cortland team of all time. We've had football for 100 yeah. or 118 years, and this is now the best Cortland team of all time. And um, I'm so proud of that to be their coach, and proud, just proud of these guys for the work that they put in, and you know just the drive that they have to to make this a reality. Um, so yeah, it's a special moment for us. I know, I can't even imagine how many text messages I have when I get to my phone from from from, from alums who are just proud. Um, they've been so supportive of our program, of our players. Um, just I, I can't even put into words. Really, it's hard, it's hard to describe how, how proud we are, and I'm sure the players are the same. Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.